Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. What's going on in my hair? So at the beginning of every single video, I read out some comments from you guys, which is from Twitter, Instagram, or my YouTube channel. So I'm going to start off with one from my YouTube comments, and this was from Jean-Paul Preto. He said, what advice do you have for artistics that pass as neurotypical and have to convince people? Well, if you have to convince somebody, then they're not worth talking to, really. If they can't accept who you are and accept you, then maybe you shouldn't be talking to them. That would be my advice. The next comment here is from Twitter and it's from Nathan Dines and he said, that camera setup looks sweet. And if you want to see what picture he's talking about, you better head over to my Twitter, which is at the Aspie world. Links down below. Um, and the last comment here is from Brian Butler and he said, dude, you are awesome. And that's also from Twitter. Thanks, Brian. That is so nice of you. If you want me to read out your comment, then please make sure you hit that bell icon on desktop and mobile because I'll be picking from the first 30 comments I get on a video to pick one of those or two of those to read out at the beginning of every single video. Okay, so this video is about problems at school. So problems at school for people on the autism spectrum. Schooling can be super hard for people on the autism spectrum. It could affect your performance, your ability to learn, and it could affect all kinds of areas of school, which will then reflect badly on your marks, your ability to get on in school, and your overall performance as a student in academia. In this video, we're just gonna talk over some reasons why those problems may occur in schools, and I'll also put down some tips and tricks at the end, how you can help improve your school experience and help hack some of the difficulties that people on the autism spectrum may have in schools. So school can present itself with many problems, especially for people on the autism spectrum. And these problems can occur for multiple reasons. So people in the autism spectrum may have difficulty with social interaction and communication, which means that they may not be able to convey what they really mean and what they really think about in conversations with other people. This can make it very difficult for certain people on the autism spectrum to actually make friends, keep friends, and make the friend really understand what they're trying to talk about. Because if you're not able to convey what you really feel, what you really mean, then a lot of people may kind of get offended by that or not really understand the needs or the, the difficulties you may face. And this could cause from some tension from friends. Not only that, people can be harsh and bully people if they don't understand the full issue, what's going on. So someone with the autism spectrum disorder may feel quite intimidated or threatened by somebody who may not really understand the diagnosis that they have. Another issue sometimes is teachers and teachers not really knowing the learning needs of the specific students. So teachers may not be as lenient with you and may not offer the help and support that you actually need for being in school with your learning difficulty. One big problem is trying to stay focused in class. A lot of people with autism have comorbid conditions for, for ADD, ADHD and other symptoms of concentration issues. This could present itself as another issue especially in classes when you're supposed to be focused and the teacher may get angry. If you'd like to learn more about autism and Asperger's, please hit the subscribe button above here. If you'd like to see my last video, it's over here. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, please make sure you check out that Patreon link above and in the description below. Sign up to my mailing list, and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace!